Hello, hello, welcome back to Park Tag. So we are here, episode number two. Uh, I let it I let it run for a little. Um, and that's mostly to get a bit of money coming in. It hasn't worked because every time I leave it run, I think, oh, I should just build that. Oh, I should just put that. And then I realised that I wasn't on camera. Uh, so not much has happened. Put some balloons in. They're going well. People are loving the balloons. They cannot get enough of the balloons. Um, they were saying they were really super cheap. And then I uh, put the price of little, and there uh, they're a little dissatisfied. So I'm going to knock it down to 140 for a balloon. Some people have got like two or three. Look, they're just. They're Love balloons, uh, and everything I put down as well was umbrellas um, because it rains. And I was like, Oh, nobody's got an umbrella because in the original Roller Coaster Tycoon, they got them from the info kiosk that we have down here. Um, I've also put a staff, doing, staff room down as well because my staff were not happy. Don't know how that works to be honest. Because if I show you the guy in here, it's a bit tricky to do because of the awning, but if I click here. Oh, it used to be able to show me the guy. There he is, look. He's too tired to work. And I don't know what to do about it. So, there's that. Because he's, he's just... I, I, I never employed him. He just came with the shop. The guy in here... Selling stuff. He's okay. He's happy. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Any ideas on how to not make them tired? That would be... Supoya, but right, uh, we are going to build a coaster today, that's what I said, I don't know what yet, I'm thinking something over here, maybe like a, just a little sort of caterpillar type ride, uh, but first of all, I just want to box in these two buildings here, so we're going to have a super quick time lapse of, uh, of finishing off the, uh, the front entrance here. Okay, there we go, a couple of different style of buildings there for the umbrellas and just to sort of lock off the, uh, the staff room there with a bit of a tower. Okay, that's looking pretty good now. So, coaster time. Uh, we're going to do a bit more decorating on these rides as well eventually, but I think it's important to, uh, with these kind of games to get a working park up first of all. Although the scenery does matter, I think. Uh, I know it did in Roller Coaster Tycoon, um, scenery added to the excitement value of, of rides nearby. It. Um, I'm not too sure here whether these guys really care about scenery that much, to be honest. So uh, we're going to get some rides open first and get them happy and get some money coming in. We've only got sort of only people. There's only 48 people in the actual park, so uh, we need to get a coaster going. So I'm thinking here, and I'm thinking sort of classic. Uh, Big Apple type caterpillar ride. So let's have a look. Um, coasters. Alpine, Giga, that's a big one. Inverted, it's quite a big one. So we have Mini Coaster. Oh, there's Log Flume, cool. Uh, I didn't know there was water rides in there. Uh, spinning Coaster. Obviously, oh, Spinning could be quite good. Do like a, a Sonic Spinball type thing at uh, Alton Towers, that'd be quite cool. Uh, wing coast, that's pretty intense. Wooden, we could do a classic wooden one, although I think that's probably going to be a bit bigger than we 
think it should be. Uh, or we could do a crazy like wild mouse thing. Huh, let's do a wild mouse. Um, I actually hate wild mouse rides. <laughs> they feel horrific, um, but they're popular and they're nice and small and they can be built pretty well. So let's have the, let's have it going this way. Now I don't think I'm going to need many, much space for corners. No, I still want to, uh, oh, how's this work? Let's have a look. Uh, station, 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 station. The idea with Wild Mouse is all about throughput. So lots of, lots of space. So how do we do it? We click it. Okay, good. Chain lift. Maybe not quite that drastic. I don't know, maybe we could. Yeah, let's go mental. So the idea with a, with a, with a wild mouse ride, normally at least, is... Oh, that's too wide, definitely. Kind of comes around... And then does... It's like lots of sort of slight drops and really sort of tight corners is what a wild mouse is all about like this I know that looks ridiculous and frankly it is <laughs> um, no let's drop it down again Yeah, that's what it's all about, really. Well, if you look at a wild mouse ride, that's what they do. Although it looks crazy, uh, it does this for a little while, and then uh, one more. Yeah, we want it to be like a box. And each time it comes down a little. Let's just see what they. I like this sort of coast they've got that sort of follows you as you're building it. That's really quite cool. Uh, okay, that's looking good. Drop it down again, and then this time we'll uh, we'll start doing something else. Okay, so here let's do uh, let's do a super drop. Might be a bit extreme, but we'll see. They are they're pretty crazy rides, these things. Um, in fact, I think it will be a bit too extreme. So instead, let's, uh, let's take it back to there and send it into a pretty big curve. It's, it's, it's all or nothing, isn't it, really, with the curve? And well, we can do slight uh, bevels with it. That's pretty good. I'll tell you what, then. Let's do that. really is all or nothing. <laughs> well, let's just try it and see what happens. Seems pretty extreme. Don't really want to go underground with it. Uh, let's keep it there then and then drag it back around 
don't really want these tight for these wide corners because it really isn't what the ride's about. It really isn't. Um, let's go up straight. Oops. We could oops a daisy. We could that way, yeah, that's fine. That way, that way. Under itself. Down as much as we can before going indoors. Indoors, you know what I mean? Upside, <laughs> inside the ground. Back up again. Still getting used to the coaster building mechanic. We're getting there. That way. That way. Down. And then we'll and then we'll bring it back. Can we do brakes? Let's go. Right, let's see how fast it's kind of going at that point, really. Let's see. I think it tells you the speed as it's as it's. Move it, does it? No. Well, let's try ten, and then drop it back into the station. Oops. Um, one thing I really want to do is I'm not too happy about this section here because we're not really using the space. So instead, after that drop, let's keep straight on. Drop it down again. Back up again. close to that so uh, so this number four here so let's do it there instead I don't think that's linked, is it? Ended up with a. Uh, what have we done there then, hey? Hmm, something's really not happy about that bit there, is it? That's All of this has a five group. Uh, maybe it's because of the. Yeah, it's because all of that had a 5 degree gradient on it, annoyingly. Right, let me just quickly fix this last bit then. Okay, there we go, fixed it, and hopefully... Wow, it's going to be pretty intense. <laughs> um, I might have to stick 
a couple of breaks in that, but let's test it. I mean, they are. Oh, it needs to really sort the entrance and exit out. Okay, they are pretty intense rides, and um, it's the main reason I particularly don't like them because they really whip you around the uh, the outside bit. But we'll we'll give it a go. Let's have a look how it runs. So off we go. Is there a thing we can? We can what? Yes, is it, there's a culture. I bet the lateral G's are pretty intense on these corners. Yeah. Oh man, that's super intense there. Four point seven five. That's crazy. That's absolutely huge. Um, well, the excitement and intensity is pretty, pretty not, pretty okay. I mean, like I say, these are kind of what you expect in these rides uh, to get whipped around the, uh, whipped around the outside. Let's just, uh, let's just see it go. God, there, that's crazy there. That's got to need a little break. Yep, we're going to need a little break. Just there, one piece. That's fine now. Because these, you know, brakes are okay. We're going to turn that into a break. We have to delete it, do we? Yep. A break at uh, 30. Let's try that. Okay, let's do another test run of that, and maybe even, as long as he's got enough to get up here, it might be okay, it might just take the edge out of that, let's have a look. Uh, it doesn't seem to have made much difference, so, <laughs> good. <laughs> let's have a look. Maybe we'll put a bit of more of a drop in this first bit here, and come back up again rather than just this straight run. It's a bit boring until we get to here, really. Have a look what we see, what we think. Whoop! Uh, and then a pretty big drop. Ranch around, ranch around. Again, enough the speed there, just takes the edge off. Okay. Right, that's better there regarding speed. Here we need to take the edge off as well. But this time we'll do it. 40k build. And the other thing I want to do is maybe just make this first. First drop a little bit more. Oops, not, not up, certainly not up, down. Okay, build. We need to get back up to eight and a half. Let's see if that's okay. Just so it's got a bit more of an interesting start. Test it. Okay, last test then. If I have to do any more with it, I'll do it off camera. But I'm pretty sure we should be okay now with those uh, extra breaks areas and that's a pretty crazy little wild mouse that's kind of what they look like um, let me see while that's tested see if I can bring up a picture of it ha look at this I've genuinely not even tried to um, that's a really small image hold on let's find a better image because that is pretty much exactly what we've built. It's even the same colours as well. Uh, let's have a look. There, that's a pretty big one. Okay, they all seem to be getting around pretty well. Look at this. Just found this online. I don't even know where it is. Here's a wild mouse ride. And it's pretty much exactly what we built. You've got the slidey reeds around the top, uh, half decent drop in the middle. Wow, fancy that, look at that. There you go, that's our wild mouse ride. So um, we built that pretty accurately. I hope they enjoy it. It's, um, it's excitement is medium, its intensity is medium, and its nausea is low, which is what we want. We do not want nausea. So, okay, cool, let's, um, 
let's build it out. We need to put some cube. Colors. I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty popular, so we're going to do a massive cattle pen style queue right to the front there, and then they go straight out to. Hmm. Do you want to go like that? Let's do it like that way, and then we can just add a bit more queue there and there. Cool. So the exit and the entrance is right next to each other. If they so wish they can. Go straight back on. How much is it charging? Has that found two dollars? I would say two dollars is a fair price to break your neck. <laughs> uh, now, theming-wise, I'll be honest with you, most warm houses don't have much theming um, because they're normally carnival rides. These are pretty easily thrown up on car parks and stuff. So they don't normally have much theming, although there is quite a cool wild mouse at Animal Kingdom in Universal uh, that is themed around going back in time to the dinosaurs, and it has sort of whirling clock, clock, clocks and stuff. You know, it doesn't have whirling cocks. Uh, it has whirling clocks and stuff as you go over, and then as you come down, you can see different dinosaurs. So we could maybe do something like that. But to be honest with you, a traditional wild mouse is usually just plants here like this to be honest with you and um, we could maybe put some scaffolding or something but for now I'm actually going to leave it relatively as is people are getting on it which is great pretty much most of the people heading this way for it in fact so this young lady's going around her own she's our first rider oh no our first riders oh our first riders well on the way to finishing in fact look at this let's see what uh see what they think can I click them while they're on it or do we have to see Gets one thing I've noticed in this game is they actually sit and walk and load onto the track, which they don't do in Roller Coaster Kill 1 and 2. Uh, so I think it's very important to make sure the entrance is near the front. Once they're up the ride, it doesn't really matter. What a cute raptor! Let's see what they think. I think it doesn't, doesn't register. Wild Mouse was awesome! Well, you're awesome for thinking that Wild Mouse was awesome. Um, there you go, there's Wild Mouse anyway. I think that's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure what's to do next. I think we need another coaster. I think we need a little mini coaster. Probably on this side, I guess, seeing as we built Wild Mouse on that side. Um, the numbers are coming through the roof. Look at all these people turning up now. Fantastic. Uh, I think one thing we could probably do is knock up the price of admission to $12. I personally would like eventually to have a decent price to come in and no cost for the rise, but I'm not sure the game registers that as the acceptable way of doing it, if that makes sense. I worry that if I just put like 40 quid on the door, they just won't come in, even though all the rides are free. Um, for the most part, that's what you'd pay for, like 40, 50 pounds for a par and get access to everything inside. You just have to pay for your food and drinks, really. So uh, that's ideally how I'd like to do it, because that's usually how bigger parks do it. I prefer playing that way anyway. Um, but there you go, there's Wild Mouse. Wild Mouse! We need a name for it. We can't just call it Wild Mouse. So uh, any suggestions for a name, uh, pop it in the comments. Whoop, whoop. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one.